In the last couple of videos, you learned hiragana and katakana with their 46 sounds. As I have mentioned, additional sounds can be made by adding glyphs, or small marks, by certain kana. Tenten is one of two glyphs used. It looks like quotation marks and is set next to the kana on the upper right hand side. When the kana in the K column have a tenten, they turn into the G kana. Ka becomes ga, ki becomes gi, ku becomes gu, ke becomes ge, ko becomes go. When appearing next to kana in the S column, the S becomes a Z. Sa becomes za. Shi becomes ji. Su becomes zu. Se becomes ze. And so becomes zo. When they show up in the T column, T becomes D. Ta becomes da. Chi becomes ji. Tsu becomes zu. Te becomes de. To becomes do. H is the last column that uses the ten ten and goes as follows. Ha becomes ba. He becomes B, Fu becomes Bu, He becomes Be, Ho becomes Bo. You will notice that, like the original kana, some of the kana with 1010 10 vary from the normal sound pattern. The other glyph is known as Maru and is a small circle in the same place as the 1010. It only affects the H column, which then becomes a P column. Ha becomes Pa, He becomes P, Fu becomes Pu, E becomes Pe, Ho becomes Po. Tenten and Maru are used for both Hiragana and Katakana with the glyphs providing the same sounds next to correlating kana.